This video will walk you through how to send a document out to get signed using the RPOST eSign Off service. We will follow three simple steps. Step one, upload the document or documents to send out for signature. You may send out one or multiple documents in PDF or Microsoft Office formats. If you send out multiple documents, our post will combine those documents for you so the recipient needs to sign just one document and both you and the signer will get that document signed by the recipient. Step two, enter the recipient's address. In this example, we will get the document signed by one person. If you'd like more people to sign the document, add them to the distribution list with a comma in between the addresses. Next, add the subject. The third step is to add the message body. If you would like to add a client or reference code to this document, which will be located on the receipt and on the reports, simply add the code in the reference code field. Now you are ready to send the document. The receiver will get an email in their inbox, and when they open it, they will see the email body you sent, along with the instructions above and below, with a clearly visible click here link highlighted in yellow, so they know how to start the signing process. Once they click the highlighted link, their web browser opens up with very clear instructions. Number one, they need to review the agreement. Number two, they script their name using their mouse on the document. Also, they may add text to the document using their keyboard. And step three, when they're finished, they click the button, click here when finished. So let's get started. The first part is to sign the agreement. To add text, they simply click their mouse where they want to add text and use their keyboard. They may move the text around with their mouse to put it in the location they desire. And a red box is put around the text they added for the signer to know what text they put in. That red box will not be visible in the signed agreement. If we scroll down the document, we can see where to add the signature. After the information is put in correctly, the signer then goes to the top and presses the click here when finished button. This brings them to the final signing page where they type in their name and script their final signature. The final step is to execute the signature. After the signer completes the signing process, both the sender and the signer receive an email back and it has been signed by the recipient. This email has who signed it, the time and date, the IP address at the time of signing, and their signature. When you open up the signed agreement, you'll see a few things that are important. The first is blue bar at the top. It is shown that the document has been digitally signed to maintain its integrity. The text is added in the locations that the signer put it, and at the bottom, the document has been hand signed and other information added as well. Our post also adds to the final page a signing certificate, which again shows who signed it, the time and date, and the signer's IP address at the time of signing, and their handwritten signature. If you have any questions regarding the R post e sign off service, please contact R post at support at rpost.com.